welcome back to the channel today guys we'll be replacing the drive shaft support bearing on the e46 here guys i want to show you the noise coming out of it okay here now okay hold on now in second listen for that okay that's that vibration i hope you hear it it's right here okay that's drive shaft support bearing going out over the bushing around in one of the tiers. There it is guys, we're gonna take it apart and let's see what the damage is. So we have the car on stands guys. Okay, and right there we are going to remove that support under the exhaust so we can drop the exhaust on this one. So we can get to the flex disc and the drive shaft support bearing. Okay, so it's three bolts for that one. Pretty easy. Okay, once we get to it I'm gonna show you. One is actually there, but it's missing. Okay guys, you can see it came out, out of the way now. Okay guys, so we are going to drop the exhaust now on the back, okay? And we will need to use a 13mm wig extension for that. Let me show you now what we're doing there. Okay, one is out. Perfect, it's just a nut and should be two of them on this side. Okay. Awesome. Okay, you can see guys the exhaust dropped here, but we still have the plate on the front holding it. Okay right, guys, we're going to remove that plate now there. Okay, just with the 13 millimeter again. Okay, and you can see how much we're getting now. We dropped quite a bit. Okay, and we need to disconnect the, uh, we we'll need to disconnect the exhaust, rubber, uh, whatever you call those, call them hold, holders or something like that. Okay, that's out of there now. A little bit more room now. Alright guys, we will go ahead and remove that cap there now. Or that metal cover. Just with a 10 millimeter. So we can uh, gain more room because we'll need to remove the shield. Okay, that thermal shield, shield plate right here. Okay, let me show you, okay, this one that goes all the way above the exhaust. So this one is with a 10 millimeter socket only. Okay, you can see how it just dropped now, that's perfect. Well, we actually, okay, let me see, one screw right here fell off. Oh, you guys, right there. Perfect, we got the last one out. Okay, let's see how we're gonna pull that thing out. I'll go step on the exhaust quick so we can pull it out. Okay, let me just leave the camera here. Okay, one second. Okay, it's out of here now. Are right, you guys time to clean everything since everything's out now? All that old deposit, you can see the grease from the bearing. That's from the bearing there. Stay with us, you see how bad it is. So it's time to clean it now. Let's decrease everything. All 
Okay guys, so this is the flex disc. Okay, check out the bearing. Completely gone, the bushing, everything's done. So with the E12, okay, that's the reverse torque, guys, we're going to remove the six bolts on the back of the drive shaft there and see what we're gonna achieve that way. So you guys removing the last three now out of the way. Okay. And see what is going to happen now. Okay, last one's there now. Let's see if we can pry towards the back now. Okay, there is a special place where you place the screwdriver and you can pry towards the back, okay, to pull it out of the rear end. Okay, you will see now. And now with a 13 millimeter, guys, we need to go ahead and remove the bearing itself, the support bearing. Careful, something not to drop on you. It's really inconvenient if you don't have a lift for that, and we don't. Towards the back now, there is two big ones that we need to remove. We need to remove that bracket there. So we can drop the drive shaft, otherwise we won't be able to. Okay, so two with 18 millimeter socket that we are taking care of right now you many videos to come on that BMW guys no joke we have to replace almost everything on it but that's how it goes with a used vehicle right if you want a perfect one you buy a new one but it's boring I guess so we ever uh, that's why we ever buy always it always new ones okay a uh, 4 with 13 millimeter socket now there now so we need to make sure that there is more bolts holding the rear okay the rear end because we don't want the rear end to drop on us so if you do that guys always check that there is more okay into the thing because you don't want that thing to drop on you okay guys so we actually removed the uh, the three bolts on the flex disc on the front. Okay, that way we can pull everything together. It's not gonna come into pieces. I've seen some models that do beamers. And this one doesn't. So we have to take the whole drive shaft out. Okay, you see in a second. So let's just pull it out. Okay, as you can see, we've still been doing that without dropping the exhaust. So that's pretty convenient. Okay, the flex disc is still there. We'll go ahead and remove it once uh, once we remove the drive shaft out. Okay, and it came out. Oh, you guys, check it out. The whole drive shaft, the whole assembly, out of there. Look at the bearing now. Okay, that's it. So now we'll need to go ahead, take it apart and replace that bearing assembly now. So we're gonna mark it guys now because uh, I told you if you don't it will be out of balance. So you need to put it together exactly the same way we took it apart. Otherwise uh, you might have little vibrations that you might not be even able to feel. But your bearings definitely will and uh, you're going to need a new drive shaft in the future. So guys, with 18 millimeter now, we're going to remove that bolt. Okay, that way the two pieces should come apart and we should be able to replace the bearing. Let's hope for it. Okay, you can see we gained some already. There is some play in the pieces. You gotta make sure you get this one tight. Maybe use threadlock. If you have any suggestions, let us know guys. We're learning from each other. I'll be highly appreciated. 
Now, okay, let's see how long that boat is. Looks like it's it's pretty long. We got the boat loose. Okay, everything is marked. We're just going to apply a little bit more on the inside. Okay, we don't want to risk it getting that thing out of balance. We'll show you the weights on it uh, in a little bit to see what I'm talking about. Okay, came out. Okay, just like that. So, okay, those are the weights, guys, right here. You can see this is a balancing weight with that sticking out there. Okay, let's see if it's gonna come out. Still stuck a little bit. Okay, that's it guys. We have a washer on the back that we will keep. And let's go ahead and get the new one and replace it now. We installed the new one, everything looks great. So, all we gotta do now, we need to align everything here. Remember, we need to have the bolt ready. Okay, you can see it's not a very long bolt. And we need to go ahead and install it. Okay, just need to go only one way. Okay, everything is matching. See, bolt came out a little bit. So we need to make sure that they go together, otherwise we won't be able to get it in. And just get the bolt tight. We're going to put some uh, thread lock on it in a second and get it tight and we'll go back to it, guys. Alright okay, guys, so check it out now. Okay, check it out. We thought it was good, it's not. So we went ahead and replaced that one as well. It's getting really bad and the other, the support bearing as well. So thank you guys for watching. That's for today's episode. Many more to come and see you next time.